These two guys are explosive and get down the field. Eight of 16 on the first play. Now Walker with a burst. And he'll gain six and a half, maybe seven. They have given up big plays in the last few games. Walker again. He'll stretch it out. Near side. And he'll pick up good yardage. Brad Hawkins with you. And the Spartans. Kenneth Walker. Seven yards. Great running backs take a broken play, something that looks like nothing, and they turn it into huge explosive plays. Look at Walker as he finds the space. The only question is, did he have control right when he crossed the goal line? They'll take a look, and it looks like he does, but my goodness, that ball just slipping out of his hand as he was going across, and they will take a deeper look at this in review. That was awfully close. The run was fantastic for Mel Tucker. Nothing there on the front side, yet he keeps himself alive. That's the vision I was talking about. He creates the explosive, gets around the edge, and then it looked like that ball just started coming loose from his hand as he was going across the plane of the goal line. This will be a tough look because it won't be down the line, but you see as it starts to leave the crease of that elbow, that would be where you would signify control lost. Wow. It would be very tough. I think it's going to be very tough to overturn that. Walker leads the nation in yards after contact. Road win. First and 10 of the 25. And it's Walker breaks it outside. Walker gets a block. Walker on his feet. Walker finally slung down as he crosses the 40 by Green. 68 yards. He's averaging 8.5. Pop. They give it to him again. Stretching it out. He breaks it back. Breaks the tackle and glides close to the first down. Michigan has struggled giving up the big play. They lose people in coverage. And here, misaligned at the snap again. Flag on the play. Walker. But let's see. Right back in this game. 14-13. No gain. Second and 10 at the 10. Thorne. Near side. Walker. Walker. Skipping. And he'll get across the first down. Here's a handoff. Kenneth Walker. Walker. Spartans quickly to the line of scrimmage. Walker, can he get in? Touchdown, MSU! Peyton Thorne delivers with a beautiful ball to the corner, and then now it's about effort. The second effort from Kenneth Walker, pushing, getting a little help from 79. Michigan State quickly to the line of scrimmage, third down and three. Walker! Michigan State, Walker, slashing, and Walker will pick up eight, maybe nine, and Wildcat formation, Walker takes the snap, Walker breaks through and picks up a first down, Ross with the tackle, here's the give, Walker! He went on to a, obviously a great senior season. That's what he wants for his quarterback, Adrian Martinez. Picked off and intercepted Jalen Grant to the house. And just like that, Purdue strikes. Touchdown, Purdue. Brought the 
edge coverage into play. And Adrian Martinez just simply has to know that. And you saw Adrian Martinez looking to the right initially. When you have a quick pass. I want to say Big George told us sacks are overrated. He's all about the pressures. This modern age of collegiate offenses. Dangerous pass. It is an intercepted again. It is. Sounds like we're just replaying the same role again. This is a horrific decision by a player that's been playing for four years. Philly, you know what, what an enigma is? A person or a thing that's mysterious, puzzling, and difficult to understand? Why are you looking at me? He's probably the best receivers in the country tonight. Yeah. And Noah Ruggles, who still hasn't missed a kick at Ohio State, now eight for eight in field goals. And a good throw, obviously, by C.J. Stroud, who needed time for him to work all the way across the field there. 23rd touchdown. Penn State pass protection was a problem against Illinois. The Illini got to an immobile Clifford four times. And the mental mistakes are piling up. Ruggles. Knocks it through from 23. The Penn State's defense succeeds in the red zone again. Three plays, 71 yards. You work the entire game, right, as a Penn State defense, playing incredibly well, containing how explosive this offense can be, and you just can't take your eye off the ball. We knew it was going to be a battle, these Penn State DBs against the Ohio State wide receivers. It has literally been a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ruggles knocks the chip shot through, but it's only a six-point game. He kicks seven field goals all year. And he just gets it through. Had missed a kick as a Buckeye. Giving his defense an opportunity to take the field. Horsesack, one of the best punters in the country. Pins him deep. Oh. Inside the five-yard <laughs> line is where Illinois will set up. The Navarro back deep for Illinois. <laughs> From one of the best in the country, Corsac out of bounds at the one yard line. In the backfield with McNamara. Third and five at the seven. McNamara standing strong in the pocket and it's caught. Anthony with a burst. Anthony down the side side. Andrew Anthony. Touchdown, Wolverines. 93 yards like that. First of all, they're going to exploit this area of the defense. Anthony comes in, and he's just going to run a crossing route across the field. Watch as this ball is thrown right on time by McNamara and right on the money. Timing plus ball placement equals yards after the catch, and Anthony is gone. Or after the turnover, first down and 10 for the Wolverines. McNamara with time, delivers sideline once again. Andrell Anthony. McCarthy sprints out of the pocket, throws, cut! Andrew Anthony again, what up, we got it! You know what I just had flashes of? Gus, as McCarthy rolls out, he's just going to give his wide receiver a chance. Why he trusts him, the athleticism, and number one goes up in the end zone like that. Looks like Braylon Edwards almost. McNamara looking left, sideline, nice throw. Anthony turns it up, trying to get out of bounds, dives. McNamara guns it. Sideline, nice catch. Andrell Anthony scooped it up. Dave McNamara to the sideline, checks it down. And picks up good yardage. Sanford said he wanted all three running backs involved in the first 12 plays, and he's accomplished his mission. Finding his last option. They've converted on third and ten, and now third and seven on this drive. Bucko Irving. Tanner Morgan using up a lot of the play clock, and then hands it off to Bucko Irving. Bucko Irving out to the 29. Irving again. And Irving is going to be two yards short. They give it to him. He's got a hole. He's got a touchdown. Bucko Irving. 
nine red zone snaps to get a touchdown in this game, but it happened right there by Bucko Irving. And Spell on that offensive line. Bucko Irving shifts back inside and down to the 30. Gophers now one timeout here with 105 left, eight play of the drive. Morgan underneath Bucko Irving. Snap comes with one, it's Irving on third and 14. And Irving won't get there. By the way, that's every game that P.J. Fleck has coached, all 52. He has been a starter, Connor Olson. Running behind that O-line, Bucko Irving. Bucko Irving. Tackled by Bryce Gallagher, but he's got the first down at the 39. 15 years, but that that's gonna change. Big hole, Bucko Irving. Now third and one, Bucko Irving. He got it. He was able to escape the grasp of Bryce Gallagher and get the first down with a pickup of four. Third down and one here. Bucko Irving, though, does his thing, picks up the first down. Irving is back out there on second and 18. Try to get the edge. He's got the edge. Foot race. Irving. Touchdown. Touchdown. Stayed in bounds, and Bucko goes 41 yards to the house. Team passes. Longest play of the game for Minnesota. Marquee.